Hi, I'm Kyle with Stern Pinball, and I am here today with one of our programmers, Mark Panacho, who worked on the new graphical service menu, and he is going to walk us through setting our new custom pricing adjustments. So let's go into our service menu with a couple button pushes, and let's go down to our adjustments submenu. And here we see a pricing submenu. Let's go into that. And if we go down here, we can see game pricing. This is where you set the different game pricings that you have. And so you see USA 12, USA 13. If we go to custom pricing, this is the new part. So this we can do things like changing whether we're showing dollars or tokens or swipes. We can also make pricings that um, don't exist in any of our preset pricings. Suppose we wanted to make the game cost $1 for one credit, but if the person puts in $5, they get eight credits. It's very simple to do now. So you can see we already have the first credit set at a dollar. I could set this to 75 cents, 50 cents, but I'm gonna leave it at a dollar. Um, and now I wanna add a pricing and I want this to be eight credits for $5. So if I click here and add a pricing, I can move this up to highlight the two hit enter, and now I'm gonna move that up to eight. Now we don't want eight credits to be $2, we want it to be $5. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna hit this two, and I'm going to raise this up to $5. And I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna go down here and save the settings. So when I save the settings, it now will show me that I've got one for a dollar, two for two dollars, three for three dollars, all the way up to eight for five dollars. So now we've got the game set to be one game for one dollar and eight games for five dollars. But suppose we want to do a little bit different pricing. Let's go in and change that. So if I go into the pricing menu and I go into the custom pricing menu and hit it again, let's say I don't want to show dollars. Let's say I want to show swipes. So if I move up to the monetary symbol, I can change this to be swipes. And you can see how it changed all the pricings here, but I wanna get rid of all of these. So let's move this and get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. We're gonna make one game for one swipe and three games for two swipes. So we're gonna do one game for one swipe and we're gonna add another pricing and do three games for two swipes. Save the pricing, and now we've got it set to be one game for one swipe, three games for two swipes. If we go back out to the screen, in the attract mode, you can see when it shows the pricing, it now says in the bottom left corner, one for one and three for two. If you have a game already that you've set a previous custom pricing for, those custom pricings will work with the new system. We preserve your settings when you switch to the new graphic menu. We hope you enjoyed this example on how to set custom pricing, and thanks for watching another video from Stern Tech School.